Gang, 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 what's going on? What's happening? It's your girl Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio Get a Cup of Tea. Let's get into some mess, baby. Let's get it cracking. So, there's a video that I posted late last night, you guys, and of course, uh, uh, it has mixed reactions, honey. Okay, include a certain messy fan page posting me on their blog and talking ish about me and i'm like don't you know that other blogs talking about me actually is a turn on for me yes it's a turn on baby free promo you can do it all you like coming for my looks coming for this i don't give an f inside is as good as outside so if you have a problem with anything that i'm saying go and argue with your ancestors kindly because I'm not the problem. You is. Anywho, let's get into some mess. Well, yesterday I posted a video of reaction video on how Baba Levo did the interview. I said, I said that I don't appreciate him talking the way he was talking about Hamisa. That was very disrespectful. Okay? I said that. And also I said I feel like he should have just not talked about it all and all because he is affiliated with the part like he is on diamond platinum side so obviously he's not even supposed to talk about it because anything he says come off as if diamond platinum said it right anything that juma Lokole says about any of diamond platinum's excess came off as if Diamond Platinum says it because Juma Lokole works for Diamond Platinum on one way or another. And that is where I was coming from. Okay? <laughs> so, Juma, uh, Baba Levo has some things to say, obviously, and uh, we are, I'm going to be petty enough, actually, to replay that video for those who didn't have the chance to hear it. And I'm going to be petty on his big nose. Yeah, I have an, I, know, I know I have a nose, you know, I'm sorry that. But I'm going to get in his heavy nose too. Anyway, without further ado, let me play you that video, you guys. Okay. 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 And of course, to my non Swahili listeners, Baba Levo was asked, among us Diamond Platinum's exes, we, who, who, which woman do you feel like suits him better? Like, which woman do you feel like could have made the best wife for Diamond Platinum's? And he started by saying that Zari was his best choice at first, but the problem was Zari already had responsibility of having already three kids, okay? So, Zari having three kids, he, she couldn't divide between taking care of the kids and also staying with Diamond Platinum in a relationship because it has, say, it has been said in the past that Zari was uh, this week in TZ, this week in South Africa, of course, she get fatigued, of course, she get tired, nobody can do that. It's it's hard, it need, it need um, some extra heart to handle such because, uh, you know, her doing that and Diamond Platinum still cheating, it can make you feel like, why am I doing, what am I even doing here, you guys? Let's listen to more of this shit. And that is what I said. And that is where some people are, are pressed. I repeated what Baba Levo said. I re the, 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 there's so many interviews all over internet. Diamond Platinum said, me and Tanasha Donna, I've never cheated on Tanasha Donna. 
In fact, I was ready to marry her. It's just that she was into this music thingy, which I wasn't feeling because me, I wanted a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home wife. I wanted me to be out there grinding because I know how hard it is to be in this music industry. And I didn't want somebody that I'm dealing with as a wife or as a woman or the mother of my children to be in that too. I wanted to come home and just to lay with my woman and that's on that. That is what I repeated. For some reason, my words are being taken twisted and then they made it feel like oh i'm only talking good about anasha donna but when it comes to other baby mamas i was yapping no you can go back on those videos and check them out one more time you guys okay uh na nafasi ya kabisa ya kuweza kumu kumuwa kama angekua hapendi mambo ya kufanya fanya mambo ya ya miziki na nani mhm you There's a difference between they love each other, he love her, and she love him. They love each other, he loved her. And she loved him. You guys, I'm not an English teacher or so like that, but what Babalevo was saying right there, he said that in all the women that Damoplanam has ever dealt with, the only woman that he felt was loyal enough, the only woman that we're seeing Damoplanam is out here acting single, literally having his cake and eating it too, is Zuchu. And, 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 and that is not me hating you guys. That is not me hating. That is just me stating facts. Diamond Platinum being seen kissing different women, okay? Mangi Kimambi came up with the story. You know, one thing I don't understand is why do we pick and choose which tea Mangi come up with? If he come up with saying that uh, Zuchu and Diamond Platinum are dating, oh, Mangi never lies. Mangi would never lie. If he came up saying that Anasha Donna did one, two, three, Zari did one, two, three, Mangi will never lie. Mangi will never lie. Yeah, we came to find out that, yeah, it's true. Right? Uh, Diamond and Zuchu had a little thingy thingy going on. But the same Mangi is telling us that Diamond Plan has been cheating on Zuchu left, right, and center with Manara's women. They have a whole apartment allegedly dedicated for screwing each other left right and center having the time sum only god knows with which women okay i had allegedly must mashallah the three musketeers that miss darkling uh she's the one that bring them women allegedly okay why do we choose that one because at first when when mangi came out and said that i feel like no, I had some tea that Zuchu wasn't happy the fact that Diamond was out here denying her and went as far as kissing Fantana. Zuchu got upset, went to Diamond Platinum's house, broke almost everything. And when it came out and when I reported in it, oh, it's a lie. And when Zuchu came out and reported in it, everybody went quiet. Girl, bye. I don't have your time. But anyway, let's let's continue. The next. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. According to Babalevo, you guys, to Manan Swahili listeners, so many people sent me that DM. They wanted me to translate, and I'm always here. Uh, listening to my subscribers and of course translating to them for those for those who are interested in Af East African uh, tea and Baba Levo said that in all the women that Dharma Platinums have been with uh, he think that Amisa Mobeto wasn't it I feel like Diamond didn't give Amisa Mobeto the same chance he gave uh, the other women, well, apart from Zuchu, I don't think Amisa Mubeto would have uh, agreed to be on Zuchu's place. I'm just saying. 
And his, I feel like if Diamond Platinum's had came out with Zuchu and not fear his mother, just came out and had the same opportunity that Zari International Donna had, I'm sure many people could have known her on that level. But because Diamond Platinum's hit that relationship and everything that happened with the kid, it made people paint Amisa as this one person who is just the lady of the night and that's on that. But I feel like if Diamond Platinum gave Miss Mamas the same opportunity he gave all them other women, we could have seen a different side of Miss Amisa Mubeto. And that is exactly what I said yesterday. And I stand on my stand, baby. Okay? I stand on my stand. I'm not bullying anybody. I'm not harassing anybody. I'm just reporting on what other blogs are saying. It's just that. I'm a little bit with it. Like, I give my own opinion. If you don't like it, baby, you can just uh, ta -ta -ta, log out, block me, do something. But you can't come on my platform telling me, oh, I'm being biased. Goodbye. Anywho, it is what it is. Keep it class system and silly stupid on the comment section. I want to hear what you have to say about that down there. Do you feel it's proper for Diamond Plat Plat Platinum's employees to be out here? dissing or rather disrespecting Damo Platinum's big mama because it doesn't matter okay you are literally Dylan's employee Dylan is your boss Nasib is your boss okay uh Tifa and Nilan those are your bosses in fact Zuchu you are working for this kid you are their employers employers you are one of the employers the money that you're bringing in is helping in in paying the school fee and and and, and upkeep so i said what i said if you don't like it honey you can comment down in the comment section just don't come for me disrespectful baby because i will retaliate and when i retaliate 